We're at the 2012 SCAC Men's Basketball Championships, uh, Championship Sunday. We're joined by Trinity University head coach Pat Cunningham. Uh, Pat, uh, you guys won your sixth SCAC championship and first since 2004-2005 by the 61-50 win over center. Just open up with uh, your remarks uh, this afternoon. Well, you know, I, we're obviously really excited. It's, it's great to be back in champions of the stack. And, you know, it, it was, uh, these guys, it was a heck of a run. Uh, uh, we've been playing well late in the year, and I think it's, whatever, 11 in a row. And, and uh, defensively, we're playing pretty well, and we're just excited to be able to represent the stack uh, uh, as we move forward next week. Coach, uh, you guys opened up a 10-point lead at halftime. Uh, from there, it might have looked like you guys could have uh, it looked like you guys could have opened up a little bit uh, tighter, or excuse me, a little bit bigger game. What, did, what kind of adjustments did you guys make as well centered at halftime, do you think? Well, we didn't really make any adjustments. I think we just we just wanted to continue to play the way we were playing. I thought defensively we played very, very well. You know, they missed some open shots but but uh, in the first half, but I thought, you know, they shot 20-some percent, and I thought that, you know, we did a good job defensively, and then we knocked some shots in. So we just wanted to kind of stay the course. We knew they were going to make a run. They're too good of a basketball team. Uh, they played de good defense. And, and they've got some guys that can really score. So, you know, you knew it wasn't going to stay that way. At least I, I didn't think it was. But then, you know, then they make a run at us, and, and we withhold it. You know, we, we kind of get, they get a little bit of a lead. I think a two-point lead one time. And, and uh, you know, I thought our guys did a good job of not panicking. I mean, I thought we just kind of stayed the course. We continued to play good defense, and then we got a little bit of a run on our own. Coach, late in the second half with about, I'd say, about 45 seconds to a minute, center cut the lead to 57-50. Uh, and obviously, we're coming out to how you guys. How 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 important was uh, was going 18 for 22 from the line oh, for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I think they started with about two minutes to go. They decided. Uh, I think we had a built. Uh, Zach Lamb had just put us on his back and carried us for about a minute and a half, a two minute stretch. Made like three threes and a two, and and we were struggling offensively. And he just made some huge shots to get us to a lead of about seven, eight, or nine. And then I think it was like two and a half minutes ago. I think they figured that they needed to, you know, get the ball back and, and start following us in hopes of us missing from some free throws. And you know, at that point, you know, if you start missing some of those. It, it gets a little bit tighter, and you know they get a little bit freer, and and uh, you know again making 18 out of 22 is just gigantic. I mean, it just kept the lead and, and allowed us to keep them at bay. Coach, what does this mean? Uh, excuse me, what does this win mean to uh, to the, the entire staff, especially uh, the seniors? They've been to the semifinals four straight years, but had lost three. You know, their first three years in the semis hadn't gotten past there. What did this win mean for the team as in, in general in, in that senior class as, as a whole? Well, you know, I think I think for the team, you know, we, we don't really divvy it up. But you know, for Ryan Bell, you know, being all tournament, I think well deserved. I mean, he's had some really really good what I call lockdown defensive games where he takes the best player and, and has done it just. A tremendous job defensively and, and it also makes some big shots and help lead the offense he and Will so you know for him you know to, to end his four years and, and all the work he's put in with a SCAC championship is just a, you know that's fun that's what you know we start the season with uh, you know three goals and, and you know one is to win the SCAC West and two is to uh, to win the SCAC championship and then the third one is uh, to do well in the NCAA tournament so you know to meet two of those goals uh, is, is a you know a tribute to the team and, and Ryan Bell. And again, I, you know, one thing other thing I want to say is that you know I think he's done a really good job of, of this team. You know we were nine and eight at one point and and you know we were coming into our own, but, but I think this team and, and our seniors and the whole team kind of bought into what we were doing and we had some good leadership and some guys uh, as I told them in the locker room uh, before this game or actually I'm sorry after last yesterday's game is you know they put their egos aside and and we were a team. You know, all 17 guys out there, you know, contributed in different ways, battled, and, and you know, that's a tribute to the seniors and the entire team. Coach, uh, you, you win the league's automatic bid to the NCAA championships. Uh, you improved at 20 and 8 on the season. What, what, the, what, what What's it going to take to continue? What, what kinds of things do you need to work on as you get ready to open up the NCAA play uh, next week? Well, you know, I think I think the one formula that we have going for us is we, we do defend them. So we, I think that will give us a chance to win games as long as we continue to to play good defense. And then, you know, we got to figure out some ways to score. We've got some guys that can score. So, you know, we'll just see. This is, you know, uh, it's icing on the cake, but again, we're going to go into next week because we'd like to win a game in the so. Trinity University head coach Pat Cunningham and the Tigers celebrate their sixth SCAC championship and first since 2004 2005. Coach, best of luck next weekend in the NCAA championship, and thanks for taking time uh, to talk to us. Thanks.